Casey Stewart, Rip Hamilton, the Hall of Famer at Grand Hill. Uh, guys, you've played a lot of basketball. You've played winning and championship basketball. Rip, have you ever seen a guy, mm. and I'm not trying to be mean to anybody he's playing with, but drag a team with his will to the level that LeBron did in that fashion tonight? Well, I have when we played against him in the Eastern Conference Finals <laughs> that one year when he scored 25 straight points. But him able to do that at, at his age, at 33 years old, 15th, year, 15th season in the league, it's just absolutely incredible. I mean, the whole the whole time he's been out here playing, we were saying, like, who's going to help him? And I thought guys really stepped up tonight. I thought George Hill was great, scoring 20 points. But LeBron, really, man, 11 rebounds, 9 assists tonight. I just thought his impact on the game on both ends of the floor was incredible. Had a great block when Terry Rozier tried to thought he had an easy layup. That's the LeBron James that we're used to and we're accustomed to watching play basketball. Yeah, you know, I, I, you, um, it's funny you brought up that moment. Um, I, I feel like it's <laughs> one of his top three great playoff performances. Obviously, that performance uh, against the Pistons years ago, uh, that one he had in Miami, and he went to, to Boston in game six and, and put his team on the back and forced a game seven. And then tonight, I mean, Kevin Love goes down. Uh, he, he, he just finds a way to get it done, uh, wills his team, hitting tough shots. You know, he had some jump shots tonight that weren't mm -hmm. easy shots. He makes it look easy, but contested, good defense, the little floater he likes to hit going left off the glass. I mean, everything his team needed, he provided. Uh, he got a little banged up there and then proceeded to, to <laughs> close out the game with, you know, a couple three-point shots and, 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 and certainly good, good finishes at the basket down the stretch. But this was, this was pretty, pretty amazing for a guy who we're getting used to we're accustomed to the amazing, and I think he certainly raised the bar with this performance. Spectacular. It's hard not to just go to LeBron tonight, but I do want to mention, because it was brought up there, the Kevin Love situation. Gets in the collision, gets in concussion protocol, misses really most of this game. And, gee, that's where the lineup kind of changed. And George Hill became really, really important. There were a lot of plays where LeBron would get doubled and he dished off and a Nance would make a big play inside of Tristan Thompson. The other guys around him made shots when they had to to help LeBron out. Yeah, yeah no question. The other guys stepped up. That's been the big question mark. Uh, certainly they struggled on the road at home. Uh, you had Jeff Green, who got more minutes. Uh, he played well, Kyle Korver, uh, George Hill. But I also think defensively. I think Jeff Green, now, you know, you put him in there in that role for Kevin Love, and now you can switch and do some things on the perimeter. You have a little bit more speed. So defensively uh, made a big difference uh, for the Cleveland Cavs. But, yes, the others stepped up. The big question is going to be, can the others step up in Game 7 on the road? Sunday night. And can LeBron play all 48 minutes? I think he can. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was a play in this game where LeBron gets knocked down and in the very next possession, basically almost like a sumo wrestler, takes Al Horford all the way almost off the court mm -hmm. and scores inside. And you were saying Al Horford's a strong dude. Man, he, he just pushed him around. The dude is it's strong, amazing. man. I just know when playing against them when he was in Atlanta, and just every time he used to hedge out and, and pretty much chuck me, I would go, I would fall all across the court. Just to understand, that's how big and how strong he is, man. When you look at LeBron James going to the basket, he's actually moving him. So that, that impressed me most, for, most about LeBron, man. He's so much physically better than, and bigger than everybody else on the floor. LeBron came in averaging 34 in elimination games. It's the best ever. <laughs> the assist of the night presented by State Farm. One of the nine from LeBron. Jeff Green in a big night offensively and defensively. George Hill, you just saw at 20. State Farm assist of the night, LeBron. Uh, how dare he? He didn't get triple-double. Only uh, 46 points, 11 rebounds, and 9 assists. But somehow, uh, he will go on. Again, that's his 7th uh, 40-point game <laughs> this postseason. Mm -hmm. Career high in Game 7s. Uh, he has upped his already best-ever 34-plus point-per-game outing uh, that he had in elimination games. That'll go up with the 46 that he had tonight. So he's answered a lot of questions. But now one that will come is 48 hours rip going to be long enough to get him ready enough to do this all over again to get to the next round like like t lou said like i can't get ready to play in a game seven one game 
uh, to the finals. This is what the, this is the moment that the team has been waiting for. I think every guy on that roster, regardless what it is, if you got to get the rest, if you got to drink uh, a whole gallons of water each the night before, make sure you get your rest. Turn your cell phones off because this is the moment that they're all been waiting for all year. LeBron James said it early in the season. We don't care about having home court advantage. So this is the time that it all matters and it all counts. So hopefully that these guys will be ready, and I know they will be prepared. So it should be a great game. You know, while we're waiting for LeBron, I want to steal a, a thought here, Grana, on the Celtics. What did you learn in the positive about them tonight? Because we were watching, and I know you were impressed by the, they. They had times they could have gone away and said, oh, we'll go just go home for game seven. They kept fighting the entire time. That's a great question. You know, they, they really did display some, some grit, some toughness there. They could have mailed it in. Uh, you know, they started off well, then Cleveland got the momentum, had the game under control. But they kept fighting. They chipped away. They got back in the game. And really, look, it took a, a superhuman performance by LeBron James, which we know he's always capable of doing, but also others for them stepped up. George Hill was big. Jeff Green was big. They had to go and win this game. So Boston, I think, I think as they head back, uh, they feel like, you know, we, we lost this game. You know, LeBron was great, but we feel good. We feel like, hey, you know what? We can play. We'll be better at home. You know, we have to try to limit George Hill. We have to limit Corver. We have to limit Green. We don't know what Kevin loved. You know, so can the others for Cleveland play like they did uh, here? Can they play like that Sunday in Game 7? So I, I think there's some encouragement. I think you, even if there's not encouragement, you mm -hmm. want to convince yourself, hey, you know what, we did okay, we fought. LeBron had to be King James down the stretch. If not, we might have had a chance. So go home where they definitely have played better. Doesn't mean they're going to win. <laughs> it doesn't mean they're winning. Basically, think they're going to win. Yeah, but they think they're going to win right now, which is important. <laughs> I picked him before Go the ahead, series. Casey. I picked him before tonight. I see, man, LeBron. I, look, I, <laughs> I'm bowing to the king. I, yeah, I mean it. I, I wow. I'm, I'm, I mean, Bow what are you going to say? This was a. This was a. These are the kind of performances where uh, it's not as fun as it was for you guys on the court to make them, but to just be a part of covering something like what he did tonight. LeBron gave everything he had. He will go back and begin treatment immediately at his house. <laughs> do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Write to treatment. Uh, treat me with what exactly needs to happen for the Cavs, LeBron, and the rest of them for them to win game seven on the road. Well, first of all, like LeBron said, they got to go back home and get some rest. I think for them coming out, LeBron has to be aggressive just like he was all game. He had 25 points in the first half, so he got to constantly keep his foot on the gas. But the other guys, it might not be George Hill next game because you're saying to me, hey, you don't know if George Hill can play that well again in another game, but it might be J.R. Smith's time. So I think the other guys, somebody else got to stuff up. Jeff Green was great tonight. They got 36 points from their bench. If they can get in transition and run with LeBron and hopefully get an early lead early in the game, I like, I like Cleveland's chances. With or without love? With or without love. Celtic side, Grant, take me to the plane. You go on the other side. You, you're 10 and 0 at home. You feel pretty good. Well, they've been here before. You know, they have struggled during the playoffs. They've been in the game seven. They won at home in the first, uh, first round against Milwaukee. Uh, they got really kind of smacked around in games three and four in this series and came back and had a fantastic performance. So uh, they, you know, they have to understand look, it's a game seven. It's going to be the hardest game, the hardest closeout game they've had this season. Um, but they're home, and, this, and there's a confidence, and you can feel it when they play. You can see it in their body language. They, their swagger is, 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 is really at an all-time high at home. So they have to feel good. There were some good things that, that happened tonight, um, and, you know, they just got to come and, and, and play their game, but play with energy, play with passion, and, and don't leave anything out there. Just go out there, give it your all, play together. And give yourself a chance to, to, to go on to the NBA Finals. You had me ready to go in the game. <laughs> You're going to be setting screens during pregame. We'll see you on game time. We'll get you ready for game six.